Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will move further with our animation, and uh, definitely we can add certain more cubes as well. And in script, actually, if uh, you want to search certain uh, objects, for example, if you want to enable a cube, uh, enable the blue bus for the blue bus, then you can uh, do that in script, and for green bus, you can enable the green bus, and like this. And that is very easy i will not go in detail for that uh, process i will just keep it simple and uh, here at this point you can see i just arranged these buses at the right position you can see the green bus and then if we enable the blue bus, you can see the doors positions are similar so we will just arrange these buses at the right spot so that the same animation will Im be implemented to every uh, object so here if you see animation cube purple uh, you can create multiple cubes like this as well if you want to do so and uh, uh, for that purpose uh, if uh, uh, for example uh, if we have a blue bus in uh, uh, here we can enable the blue a cube and uh, like that uh, we can do for the every bus so anyhow we, uh, I will just make it blue for now and uh, we will just uh, go to here you can see we have purple bus and uh, purple bus so we'll just add the sorry we will just add the for this animation cube we'll just add bus blue so main bus bus blue and uh, we want to enable the blue bus here okay so we'll just add animation bus blue bus so now what will happen the blue bus animation will be played so in this way you can add multiple cubes as well for the each buses if you want to do so or you can find object with script as well so i will not move uh, going uh, that detail i will just duplicate this animation cube and uh, let's add this animation cube uh, here uh, near so that we can test our uh, our process so that's here and now if you play the game you will see that everything will work absolutely fine and our animation will be played when we will enter into that uh, cube and also the blue bus is enabled here okay and you can see the position is absolutely normal and absolutely fine uh, because we have placed the buses at the right position okay so now you can see that uh, we have played the uh, animation and uh, here in the bus blue if we enable the bus blue bus you can see that we have certain <laughs> texture problem here okay so for that we can just solve this in a way so let's uh, add this texture here and for the handle itself if we select this handle we can add this texture and to the dashboard as well so that's nice so that's fine uh, so now you can see that everything is fine but uh, we want to add some things to our script so that uh, when our animation will be played then after animation we should move our uh, vehicle uh, for the next uh, task okay so for that purpose we what we can do we can just uh, go to script and in script one more important thing is that uh, we can just uh, make these things opposite okay right away so for that purpose uh, we have animation cam RCC cam okay everything is there so what we can do we can actually create a i enumerator and we can name it so for example i enumerator uh, uh, resume game like this and in this function we will just uh, uh, we will just uh, uh, write here yield 
return new wait for seconds and here we will uh, add seconds so for example if you want to wait for 15 seconds here and then uh, what we want to do we will just repeat this process copy and here we will just paste it and we don't need timeline.play we will just cut it out and here on the top we will just stop the timeline okay so if timeline uh, will be stopped automatically but uh, we can stop it with manually as well by this and then we, for rcc cam we want to make it true and then for the animation cam we will make it false then for the main bus we will make it true for the animation uh, bus we will make it false sorry false and the main UI will be true again okay so that's very simple so now if we uh, uh, we will just uh, add this coroutine function Coroutines are always used for uh, waiting for some seconds and then we can apply some function. Uh, here we will just uh, add that coroutine. So we will say start coroutine and we will name that coroutine which is the resume game coroutine. And that's it. This is our function. So now let's play the game and let's see what will happen. So uh here we can just play the game again and uh, let's see so when we move we will reach at the point yeah you can see we reached at the point and uh, animation is playing absolutely good with the no ui and uh, now uh and now you will see that after 15 seconds as uh, you you see that uh, again this animation is playing without any reason and that the problem is that uh, we didn't uh, uh, destroy that uh, game object which is the cube okay so what we want to do is that uh, here at uh, this point uh, when we will play the timeline or even in the beginning we can do that uh, but I think uh, after timeline.play we can just uh, destroy uh, this dot game object okay so let's see what will be the result now hopefully the uh, th because we are destroying this object but uh, one problem is that if we destroy this game object then uh, this core routine will not run anymore and uh, let's try it first and let's see what will happen now uh, so let's see so let's play the game and if we move here you can see the animation is played that is good and after 15 seconds what will happen let's see as you can see that uh, nothing will happen because the cube is itself destroyed okay and we have all the functionality on the cube so that we can't uh, implement uh, uh, the the functionality is not implemented at all so what we can do so we can actually get component so let's get the component and uh, we will just get which component let's see in hierarchy if we select this animation cube 
you can see that we have a component uh, box collider okay and uh, we can select this box collider here if we say box collider and then for this component we want to make it set uh, sorry we want to make it we can't set it active we can uh, just dot uh, okay what we can how we can disable it okay and uh, yeah we can do dot enabled equal to false and hopefully it will work so let's see uh, how it will look like now so let's move to unity and now hopefully it should work let's see so if we move to our bus collider you can see that animation is playing and uh, after that boss collider will be disabled so again we will not trigger the animation again and uh, although uh, the other settings now you can see that are normal and we have started our bus at the right position okay that's great so that's great we have successfully implemented this and uh, the other thing is that if you reach that animation cube so i will not uh, i will just delete this animation cube now because we have the animation cube at the right position uh, wherever we want and uh, what we what else we want is that if you reach that position we will increase our coins okay so here we will just increase the cash uh, so initially we will just remove the cache so we can go to edit and we can go to clear all pre player prefs so what will uh, happen that if we uh, delete uh, the prefabs now if you play the game you will see that there will be no money at all you can see now we have zero money and now we want that if you reach that point uh, and if you pick the passengers uh, then uh, we will get some amount and uh, we can earn uh, i think thousand dollars thousand dollars is fine uh, so what we will do we will uh, just move to that uh, uh, that uh, box animation cube blue and uh, the same coin script we can implement on this uh, uh, on this animation cube okay so here as you can see we have uh, where is that coin script uh, okay blueprint uh, is unlocked main menu on trigger play uh, player manager okay player manager is already there on the bus so the cache will be implemented so we have to sh go to shop manager and here is the shop manager so what uh, so what will be the script so I think I just uh, made a mistake here I think we have uh, not added any script on the coin so as you can see in prefabs we have a coin so let's add this coin as well here so let's see what will happen I think it will increase the amount so let's add this at the bus stand as well and uh, let's see what will happen now so initially uh, if we move to buses for cutscenes we can just disable this blue bus initially and uh, let's play the game and then let's see what will happen now 
I think I applied the dynamic I just forget that how we imply applied the amount so I think we applied that on the coin game object so let's see so if we select this coin what will happen yeah 100 uh, cash is added that's great and now when we reached this point you can see this as well you can find the specific bus in this script and you can disable or enable the relative bus as well so i will not go in detail uh, to explain that thing uh, anyhow let's uh, play it now you will see everything will work fine if we reach the uh, if we reach that point the bus stop you will see that our bus will be disabled now and you can see the driving is quite difficult so let's move it like this and yeah now we reached here and you can see we have run the animation so now when animation will be applied then again we will have the controls for the bus so you can see we can wait for some 15 seconds and now that's it you can see we are ready with our bus and we can drive again